Welcome to Paca Athens. While the neighborhood can be a bit on the touristic side, it still has plenty of local flavor that makes it the ideal spot to explore all the sites of Athens from. It's old carpet. And Gok is just stroking the furry wall. It's very cool. Just like get him to the Greek. <laughs> all right, we're here. Hey everybody, well, we've made it here to Greece today and in Athens we have decided to stay in a, an Airbnb right here in Plaka. Alright, this is our Airbnb. How do you like it? It's pretty awesome. I know. We Look at this place. And we have two bathrooms, that's what exactly we need, Steve. <laughs> this is amazing. Did you see the bedroom? And Palaka is one of the most diverse and well-known neighborhoods in all of Athens. It's right near the Acropolis and many of the other famous attractions in Athens, so it's a great set-off point for you if you're ever visiting Athens to stay in Palaka. And we decided to stay in an Airbnb because hotels in Palaka, of course, can be expensive. And we looked into a few hotels and our Airbnb for two nights actually wound up being the same price as a hotel would have been for one night. Do you need our jackets for So Gokche is gonna go grab our jackets because we're gonna head upstairs yep. to the rooftop to show you guys the amazing view. All right, we're going upstairs. You also need to uh, unlock this door, right? And I'm Check excited. That. That's the Acropolis. It's the battle for the top cat of Plaka as their mother watches. It's Christos versus Stephanopoulos. Who would win? So far, it seems to remind me of Alajete is near in Turkey. The streets are so narrow and cute. Alajete is also known as an old Greek neighborhood, so it's like... The roots are there. The roots are there, exactly. It's so similar. It's really nice. It's much less crowded than Alajete is. I'm pretty much enjoying this beautiful weather in the end of November. We got really lucky. It's like almost We're 20 so Celsius. Lucky. So 70 Fahrenheit for us Americans. Signs are saying long life and long life and happiness, the eternity. Oh wow, that's amazing. Mm -hmm. We're walking around the clock on them and the jewelry store person at the end of our block actually recommended going to Yasumi Cafe, which is about 500 meters from our Airbnb here in Palaka. And they said they had handmade food, meaning probably homemade food, but I'm excited to try because she was like, you should definitely go, you should definitely try that place. And it's so nice to have like a close by neighbors uh, suggesting places and being extremely friendly in this area. It's just so interesting to see that Athens is the capital of Greece because it really doesn't feel like a big metropole city, at least not this area. Obviously, this is one of the oldest cultures in the entire world. I really like the fact that they are protecting their own culture, at least, again, not this area. We haven't seen the, the shopping places and other parts of the city yet, but... It's very, very old school. It's retained a lot of its original history from when it was built. There's no tall skyscrapers. It's very much, you can see the Acropolis kind of almost from everywhere. And that's kind of cool. It's got its old school European charm for sure. It got chilly a little. It was pretty warm earlier today. It was like uh, high 60s, 
70 almost, right? Should I do the but conversion to Celsius for you? That was the American. It was like 20 Celsius. <laughs> I, yeah, the American does it. I don't it. know the don't Celsius worry. anymore. I'm very far <laughs> night. So we just had four drinks, but we met this very nice American couple from Arizona and they paid for our first round. I had a very nice cocktail and what you get to see? Straight Ouzo, of course, because when in Greece, just like when in Rome, it was 13 euros for the two drinks that we paid for. So time, Bretos was amazing. It's communal style drinking. Yeah. Highly recommend it. And we've got two more recommendations from Bretos' uh, bartenders to go to tomorrow. So, like we have been saying, ask locals, go to the local places. They can't steer you wrong in Athens, Greece. We're going back to our Airbnb now, and we will see you guys in the morning. So the great part about our Airbnb and Plock is that it's centrally located to everything. It's nearby the metro station that we took from the airport to Sing Tama Square, which was 10 euros, as well as all the nearby attractions. And then we are actually very lucky with this location. We are right by Acropolis. Uh, you can just see it's 10 minutes, 15 minutes away from here. It's so easy to get around. And once you get out of the Airbnb, you're right on the street of the center of Plaka and there are a lot of cafes, restaurants. Food is amazing. You should definitely have a lot of Slovakia when you're in Athens and Osaka since they are the most popular foods. You know, usually when you rent a place in big cities, it's in a very touristic area where you don't feel like you're part of it but here it wasn't the case we step out and it's like all local people we hear greek everywhere and people are extremely warm nice welcoming so it obviously made our experience much more valuable we highly recommend staying in plaka and we definitely recommend staying in alexandros's airbnb we put the link down in the description along with our airbnb code so if you sign up with us you get a discount we get a discount everybody wins so we greatly appreciate the support on that if if you like this video, you found this video helpful about staying in Plaka, staying in an Airbnb in Greece, hit that subscribe button, ring the bell for notifications, and give us that big thumbs up. And we will see you on the next one, which is going to be 48 hours in Athens, and we'll show you exactly what to do when you're staying in your Airbnb here in Plaka. All right, see you on the next one. Bye, guys.